the team down to the bottom before, just how big a win was that? It was a massive win and um, a thoroughly deserved win. Of course, I give Gillian credit for coming here last week and obviously watched our performance and set up accordingly to make life very difficult for us to deny the space behind them. Uh, times with the 11 men behind the ball, but uh, you know that was their game plan and it was up to us to break that down and uh, it took relentless pressure from us, loads of opportunities and uh, and finally we found the breakthrough and uh, I'm just really proud of the way the players have gone about it. You know, it's credit to them and it's, it's testament to the way they have been playing that, that Gillingham, you know, uh, had that type of game plan, but we as a club and as players, we need to find solutions to these problems, and I'm so pleased that they did because they've worked ever so hard to, to win the game. How pleasing is it for you, as the manager, considering all the off-the-field activity that your team could can go out week in, week out, with that 10-point deduction and putting a performance like that? Uh, I'm exceptionally proud of them. You know, I, I said to them back before the game, I watched the under-18s yesterday, and they beat Sheffield United 4-1 with very similar principles to work in the first team. The, 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 um, 21s won 3-0 against Brighton during the week and uh, and then the first team went again deep today and, and, and that all comes down to the standards set by the first team and the energy that they're bringing to this football club and I'm really really proud of the way they're going about it as I've said and uh, and I think they're enjoying the football just now, they're playing uh, with a lot of confidence, a lot of energy and creating numerous chances so you know, long may it continue. Here at Sixfield it's a bit of a home from, from home isn't it, it's four games, three wins, one draw, no defeats, it's, that's positive isn't it? It's positive, you know, we've looked at the opportunity to do the circumstances, but again, the players deserve credit for that. You know, we, we, we didn't even come here and train prior to the first game. You know, we've tried to keep things as, as, as similar as possible. The players arrive here in their own cars with their families. You know, I haven't changed anything. We've tried to make this, you know, as, as close to home as we possibly can. It's not the ideal situation, but, uh, you know, the results have, have certainly been positive. Do you think now, because you're out of the bottom four, people might start to get carried away and looking up above you? Well, the, the most important thing is I'll not get carried away. You know, we, we've just got out of the relegation zone. My players know the standards that's expected of them every day. But they're, they're not just adhering to those standards. They're pushing the standards. They're really enjoying it just now. And I think they've got the bit between the teeth. And uh, nothing changes them. There'll be no level of expectation put on them. They're a young team developing all the time. And, and the most important thing is just the next game. No targets the next game. We, we play Port Vale and we'll go there again hoping to win the game.